A battle on the road in the western province of Zambia between two separate motorcades. President Edgar Lungu is in one, and the other is Haikande Hichilema, the leader of the opposition United Party for National Development. Police try to push his motorcade off the road to make way for the president, but the convoy stays put, with opposition party supporters hurling insults. The police says Hichilema endangered the president's life and have charged him with treason. A party lawyer says the charge is politically motivated. The charge itself is laughable. There's no treason there. I can argue all the way to the grave, there's no treason there. Treason is a, is a capital offense. It's, it has got specific ingredients. It's a very unique type of offense. President Lungu narrowly won re-election to a second it term last year. No! Ichilema disputed the election result, calling it a sham. Some view the court case as a spillover from the election. We are escalating a very, what I would call, unnecessary conflict because, in, in my view, the conflict was really to do with, with, with state security. Critics say the law is being manipulated to silence the opposition. While two charges against Hichilema have been dropped, he remains accused of treason. This court will decide if the case against him is thrown out or if it's referred to a higher court. If that happens and he's convicted, Hichilema faces the death penalty. Another opposition party leader was recently arrested for criticizing the government. The European Union is concerned by the tension and urges dialogue. The government denies any form of dictatorship. Zambia's democratic tradition is as strong as ever. In fact, it is even stronger. There is, there is a constitution that restrains the president from doing certain things. However, the vibrance of any democracy is premised on the existence of the rule of law, the existence of law and order. If a politician becomes an opposition leader and thinks that that is immunity uh, to committing a crime, there will be no democracy to talk about. Hichilema has been in jail for the past month following the traffic incident that's raising questions about the strength of democracy in Zambia. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera Lusaka, Zambia.